In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add error bars to graphs in Excel, just like the example shown here. But before I do, this is just a quick plug to say if you find this video truly useful, please consider giving it a like. And if it still doesn't make any sense, then drop me a comment below and I'll be more than happy to help out. So let's move on to error bars. In this sheet, I have some data entered for two groups. What this data represents, it doesn't really matter. So don't worry too much about that. The first thing I need to do is I need to calculate the average or the mean for these two groups. Now to do this, I will click on an empty cell and enter equals average open bracket and I will click and drag on the first group data then I will close the bracket and then press enter. To quickly copy this formula across to calculate the average of the next group I will select this little square in the corner of the cell and drag this across. So now we have our averages for our two groups. The next thing we need to do is to calculate what we want our error bars to represent. There are many types of statistics you can use here, such as the confidence intervals, standard deviation and standard error. For this example, I will calculate the standard deviation. If you want to learn how to calculate the confidence intervals or standard error of the data in Excel, I will leave some links in the description below. To calculate the standard deviation, I will select an empty cell and type equals STDEV, open bracket, and I will click and drag on the first group data. Then I will close the bracket and then press enter. Again, I will copy this formula across to repeat this for my second group. Now we have everything we need to create a simple bar graph. To create the bar graph, I will highlight the average values for my two groups. Then I will go to insert and I will select the bar chart icon and choose 2D graph. So now we have a simple bar chart showing the average values for the two groups. I will now add the error bars. There are a few ways that you can add error bars in Excel. The first is with the graph selected, you can go to add chart element and then I advise to select the more error bars option and you will see why shortly. Another way you can add error bars is to select the graph and then you'll see a little plus icon in the corner of the graph. Select this and then select show error bars. At this point, you should see the error bars on the graph and the format error bars sidebar should be open to the right. If you don't see this, simply double click on the error bars in the graph. There are a few options in this sidebar. For example, you can choose if you want the error bars to be above or below the middle point or just select one or the other. You can also change the end cap appearance of the error bars. But the thing we are interested in is the error amount. In Excel, you can set this to be different things, but depending on how you have set up your data in the data sheet, it is always best to select the custom option. Now select the specify value button. And in the new window, click on the button next to the positive error value box. Then, Click and drag to select the error values. In this case, they are the standard deviation values. It's important that you select the data in the same order as is plotted on the graph. Then press the enter button. Now repeat the steps for the negative error value. Finally, click OK. And now, as you can see, the error bars have been added to the graph, which indicate the standard deviation. And that is how you can add error bars to graphs in Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.